here is the finished product. What's up everybody? Fatty Mancy checking in here and I'm going to make uh, something that I've been making I'll say for the last like week, week and a half, almost daily. It's a uh, really high protein depending on how much protein or what type of meat or how much meat you're putting in um, and very low carb can be very low fat as well if you decide to. So before we begin, let me just give you the ingredients. Uh, you only need three ingredients, but uh, you can't have more if you want to get fancy. So the first ingredient is some kind of um, like pasta sauce. So what we're going to be making is a zucchini pasta. It's very simple, very quick and um, extremely low calorie. Next thing is a piece of squash or zucchini. So I already measured it and weighed it out. This is 270 grams. And then your choice of meat. So I had um, pork uh, already cooking in the slow cooker. So this is about um, four and a half ounces of uh, pork from the slow cooker. Optional things, you could put Parmesan cheese on, or what I've been doing lately is just some breadcrumbs. One last thing you are going to need is one of these things. I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure what it's called. Hold on. Vegeti. Vegeti, Vegeti. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But, anyways. So there has, it has two sides, it has a thick side, so if you want thick spaghetti, or a thin side, or a thin side, if you want like thinner strands of noodles. Never thought this would be, but this would taste good. I'm not really a fan of, um, I don't know, zucchini is like kind of whatever for me, but uh, this is actually like, it's pretty on point. I'll give you guys the macros at the end of the video. Um, but let's go, uh, let's go with thin today. So all we're gonna do, is just churn away. You need to apply some muscle sometimes. But that's why we lift. Zucchini, got my pasta, um, pork tenderloin, and breadcrumbs. I'll show you what you're gonna do with that. Really crazy about. Uh, squash, zucchini, whatever. Um, you could barely taste this, to be honest. And uh, if you put enough sauce on there, you really can't taste it. So, uh, just try this out once, and let me know what you think in the comments. Um, uh, if you want to know where I bought that, uh, Vegiti, I think I'm pronouncing that right, I've, I got it at um, CVS. 
I think it was like 14, 15 bucks. One of the best investments I've ever made. Uh, that was pretty literally fun. takes about a total of 10 minutes. Um, nah, that's a lie. <laughs> it's like 15 minutes total cooking and prepping and whatnot. Um, that's if you have everything prepared. So I have the uh, pork tenderloin. So this is really lean. I think it's like for four ounces, three grams of fat, somewhere around 20, 25 protons. Protein if you don't get that. So I'm just gonna dump that in there. Roasted red pepper with garlic. Kroger, please respond. So I'm going to put that on the scale. I'm going to zero the scale out. So I'm going to zero out with grams. Uh, one serving of this, which is a lot actually, 128 grams is 2.5 grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, and 3 grams of protein. I'm probably just going to finish this because there's not much left in there. All of that is 100 and 32 grams so that's not bad so that's gonna put us over a little bit of uh, a little bit over the serving size so I'd probably say close to 20 grams of carbs maybe like 18 grams of carbs probably three or four grams of fat and probably four grams of protein see that so now this is what this is what the plate's starting to look like right now. Trust me guys, if this does not look appealing to you, <laughs> just try it out. It actually tastes delicious, and I'm not saying this just because uh, just because I'm making it, or just because these hands are magic in the kitchen. You see it's starting to get a little bit watery. That's, that's kind of fine. I probably could have lowered the heat a little bit no big deal so that's pretty much it okay completely optional is parmesan cheese um, which I would put if I had some but we don't so uh, I'm just getting some breadcrumbs might sounds might sound weird I, sh um, I tried it and it tastes delicious try it yourself let me know what you think put it down in the comments below so I put this on the scale, I'm going to zero it out. So we're on zero. And then honestly, I just eyeball this. So 34 grams again, which is a lot. One, one and a half grams of fat, 24 carbs, five protein. Um, this meal can, the uh, carbs can add up pretty quickly. Again, it, dip, it all depends on you and the sauce. So if I just did the sauce right there, probably no more than 25 grams for this whole big bowl that you're about to see. So I just kind of douse that and let's see. That's 23 grams. So what I'll do is I'll divide 23 by 34 when I put this on my fitness pal. And, uh, and that will be the total amount. Um, it'll calculate it for me. Just gonna mix that up. And I'll be back with the final numbers and show you the plate, show you what it looks like. Here we go. So here is the finished product. All right. So like I said, uh, try it before you start talking all this trash about how it looks nasty and whatnot. Tastes amazing. Um, final macros are 
um, 38 grams of protein, 9 grams of fat, and 41 carbs. Now, I know you're going to say, Buddy, uh, you said this was a low-carb meal. You put in the title that this is a low-carb. Shut up. Uh, like I said, this is optional, okay? So this added 16 grams of um, carbs on its own. That's completely optional. You don't have to put that much. I like to douse it on um, because I have a lot of carbs left for the day. Um, but that's going to bring you uh, to what, 20, 25 carbs? If I'm not mistaken for the whole meal. I don't even math. Uh, 25 total carbs for the whole meal. And the, trust me, like I always do this for the last meal of the day. This is going to keep you full, satiated. Um, you're not going to feel hungry after. And if you are, you could just add like another zucchini. Like that was just half of a huge zucchini that I used. Keep the jokes to yourself. So uh, if I double that, that would be 16 grams for the zucchini. And then you could just go light on the sauce for a total of like 25, maybe no more than 30 grams of carbs. Or not use any sauce at all. Make your own sauce. You don't have to use, whole, you know, you don't have to buy sauce. Get creative with this meal. Um, try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. And that's, uh, that's cooking in the kitchen with, with Fatty. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you are ready or not. And if you've made it this long, thank you. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.